Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for gold for Monday, May 13th, 2013. Well, a strong uh, bearish candle today and a fairly large uh, black body candle, a candle uh, that has a lower high but a higher low, so uh, no change of trend, and the previous trend uh, remains in force, and that was a downtrend with the candle making a lower high and a lower low. So today's uh, in uh, trading in terms of the uh, bar chart was an inside day, and does suggest potential for a change of trend. But if we look at where the market has closed in relation to the range, it has closed down towards the low, suggesting that the sellers have taken control of this market. Looking at the previous days, trading we had that large shadow and strong price rejection from below the 1432 level. The buyers coming back in and closing the market up uh, above the midpoint level with the buyers taking control. It did suggest that uh, the buyers weren't supporting the trend to the downside, but in net terms with this large black body, we've seen the sellers make some decent net bearish progress close the uh, market with control and show some decent commitment to taking this market lower. The important thing here is that the market has closed in a bearish manner down below 1432, previous level of strong uh, resistance, and that does suggest there is a possibility of the market trading down to the 1400 round number level. Now in terms of that previous congestion area that we were looking at and we had a barrier at the top with a horizontal line and a barrier at the bottom with a horizontal line for the previous days trading in the market broke out to the downside below that barrier but failed to close below there and all patterns require a close not just a test down below for confirmation so we have had a confirmation of that break but uh, the uh, testing down below did uh, skew the uh, pattern a little bit but uh, uh, if we are taking this as a reversal pattern then our uh, objective will be the distance of the uh, the width of the pattern projected down so it would give us a target down uh, probably around the 1400 level or just below. So the 1400 level uh, will come into play if the trend does continue down and act as very solid support for this market. The important thing here, however, is that the area around that 1440 level was previously uh, strong support within the pattern. The market tested down below there and was rejected from there to trade uh, and closed back within the congestion area for the previous day's trading. Today we've had the uh, a very solid bearish close outside of that congestion area and a very solid close down below the previous and uh, recent strong support around 1440. In terms of the Fibonacci extension and uh, for the uh, previous day's trading we saw the market trade down through the 61.8% and the 100% levels and be rejected from their failing to close down below the 61.8%. It did suggest very strongly that there was potential for a change of trend. So we would have been looking for a higher high and a higher low which didn't occur. The market didn't trade anywhere near the high so the sellers were quite strong and the market came back in with some decent momentum today but have failed to close down below the 100% level. Um, but uh, the sellers are supporting this trend to the downside so uh, there is a suggestion that there could be a change of trend back to the upside but we aren't seeing any strength in the buyers here. Uh, the, the sellers have been uh, quite strong throughout the trading day today. Failing to take out the low of the previous candle does raise some doubt about continuation of the trend however. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement, we're in an expansive mode of that. We had the market testing down through the 100% 100 level for the previous day's trading, testing exactly to the 161.8% level and being rejected very strongly from there, setting the market up for that potential change of trend. Uh, but we haven't seen that happen, so this does say something about uh, the potential for the market to continue trending down. All of this has been occurring down below the cloud and below the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen, suggesting that the in the short term time frame the sellers are coming back in line with the higher time frame trends, and there is potential for the market to trade to lower levels. But uh, we do have this 161.8% level very close by at 14.18, and that will be a solid barrier to this market. Now in terms of Vichimoku, obviously a bearish market in all three time frames now. We have the market trading down below the cloud, so the market's bearish in the long term time frame and we are now seeing follow through with this breakout down below the uh, important support and the 1440 and the bottom of that uh, congestion type area and it does suggest the market will trade to lower levels. Uh, the market's also trading down below the Kitchen Sen and Tenkan Sen, so bearish in the medium and fast term time frames and the chicken span is below the corresponding price action. So all of that is 
is uh, uh, supporting potential for the market to trade lower. If the market can trade in a bearish manner down through the low of the uh, previous day's trading around this 14.18 level, we could see the market testing down to 1400. A possibility of very, very solid support coming in around that area. However, round numbers tend to be important areas of support and resistance. If the market trades down through there, 1380 is in, in an important previous level, but then down to 1329 uh, should be a very, very solid area of support for this market. So so uh, potentially uh, let's look for continuation of the trend to the downside. The low of the current candle is important, as is the area around 1418.